Hello my dear students, welcome to our channel Rajesh Biology and this is Rajesh MSc Zoology. Today I am going to teach about circulating pathways and evolution of heart. First, circulating pathways. There are two types of circulating pathways. They are open type and closed type. Open type and closed type of circulating pathways. In open type of circulating pathway, the heart send the blood into the vessels. If it is the heart, for example, it is a heart chamber, and this heart send the blood into the vessel. This is the vessel. This heart chamber. Heart sends the blood into the vessel, and vessel from the vessel the blood enter into the body space. This is the body space. Blood enter into the body space, and after exchange of gases, after distribution of uh, nutrients to the body parts, the blood enter into the heart. That means the blood from the vessels enter into the body spaces, and the body space is known as sinus. Sinuses. A large body spaces are known as sinuses, which you already know about this. In uh, you may learn about this in first year intermediate in periplanet Americana. So this is known as open type of circulation. There is no uh, connecting blood vessels in open type of circulation. Example, leech and arthropoda animals. Arthropoda and mollusca. Mollusks. Okay, these are the some examples for open type of circulatory system. And come to the closed type of circulatory system. In closed type of circulatory system, the blood always flows within the blood vessels. In this type, the blood moves from the heart into the arteries and enter into the venules. There are small blood capillaries which connect the arteries. And venules veins are known as capillaries. This type of capillary system is absent in open type of circulatory system. So, in open type of circulatory system, blood always flows into the blood vessels, and from the blood vessels, it enters into the large body spaces, and that large body space is nothing but sinuses. And the vital organs which are present within the body. The vital organs bathed in hemolymph. Uh, the blood is known as hemolymph in open type of circulatory system. But when come to the closed type of circulatory system, the heart pump the blood into the blood vessels, and arteries and veins are communicate with blood capillaries. So the blood always flows within the blood vessels. It never enter into the body spaces in closed type of circulatory system. Example: all vertebrates. Vertebrates and annelida. Annelida show closed type of circulatory system except leech and cephalopoda, cephalocardata. It is easy to remember cephalopoda, cephalocardata. Cephalopoda is the class under uh, phylum Mollusca. And the cephalocardata. Okay, open type of circulatory system in arthropoda, mollusca, of course, in echinodermata, echinodermata also. And acidians. So, these are the differences between open type and closed type. In open type of circulatory system, blood always flows within the body and enter into the body spaces known as sinuses. There is no blood capillary system. Example, leech, arthropoda, mollusca, echinodermata, and acidians. And closed type of circulatory system, uh, the blood always flows within the blood vessels and blood capillaries connect the both arteries and veins. Okay, blood never enter into the body spaces. Example, vertebrates, annelida, cephalopoda, and cephalocardata. Now, evolution of heart. 
first of all the heart structure is like this that means only two pumps one is for uh, venous blood and another one is for uh, oxygenated blood okay gradually these two pumps are evolved into two chambers three chambers incompletely divided four chambers and completely divided four chambers for different uh, phylums different groups of animals uh, so these two pumps are evolved into different patterns different plants from aquatic gill breathing animals to completely terrestrial animals like uh, lung breathing terrestrial animals okay first of all fishes fish heart uh, is with two chambers it is first chamber known as atrium and that atrium opens into the ventricle that ventricle send blood to gills okay so here the gills the deoxygenated blood enter into the atrium from that it reaches ventricles ventricles send blood to the gills at the site of gills blood is oxygenated and that oxygenated blood sent to the different body parts from the gills so the heart is known as brachial heart because it sends blood to the gills only and the heart is known as venous heart because it receives only deoxygenated blood and the circulation is known as single circulation because heart receives blood only once in a circuit oka circuit lo oka sari receive cheskuntundi heart so it is single circulation during evolution uh, the aquatic animals try to put their feet on a land so gradually they developed into amphibians in amphibians these two chambered heart developed into three chambered heart with two atriums and one ventricle it is right or left the atrium which is present to the left side to our face is known as right atrium and the atrium which is present to the right side to our face is known as left atrium because uh, we present the heart like this it is my left atrium it is my right atrium clear so right atrium and left atrium right atrium receives blood from different body parts and left atrium receives blood from lungs or skin or somewhat gills also so it receives blood from gills lungs and skin that blood is oxygenated blood and right atrium receives deoxygenated blood from different body parts both oxygenated sorry oxygenated and deoxygenated bloods are separated by a septum which is present in between two atria right and left atriums the septum is known as interatrial septum so both are differentiated by a septum but in amphibian heart there is only one ventricle so the oxygenated blood and deoxygenated blood enter into the same ventricle and both are mixed together and that mixed blood sent to the different body parts it is known as incomplete double circulation okay because there are two pathways which um, which allow the entry of blood into the heart but only one circuit which sends the blood to the different body parts so it is incompletely double circulation and that blood which uh, reaches the different body parts is mixed blood and its heart is three chambered heart in amphibians in reptiles <clears throat> it is reptile heart in reptiles the ventricles also develop a septum but the septum is incomplete incompletely divided four chambered heart okay so it also receives body sorry it also receives blood from different body parts and it also receives blood from lungs both are mixed together 
in ventricle because of its incompleteness. So the incomplete blood sent to the different body parts in reptiles, in amphibians. Okay, three chambered heart, incompletely divided, four chambered heart. All reptiles have incompletely divided four chambered heart except crocodile. Except crocodile. Clear? And then next, apes and mammals. Apes and mammals develop completely divided four chambered heart and that heart have four chambers like this two atria and two ventricles. What happened? These two pumps are divided into atria and ventricle for fishes during evolution. The fishes convert into developed into amphibians. At that time, the atria um, and another, sorry, the atria divided into two chambers, right and left atrias and ventricle is same, one ventricle. And then next ventricle develop a septum between uh, to, to form two chambers, but it is incomplete. After that, apes and mammals develop completely divided four chambers, include crocodile also. Crocodile also have four chambered heart, apes, mammals and crocodile. Okay, in this, uh, right atria receives deoxygenated blood and left receives oxygenated blood from it receives blood from different body parts it receives blood from lungs both are enter into respective ventricles that means left and right clear up to here the deoxygenated blood enter into the atrium from that atrium it enter into the ventricle it is completely right circuit from there it enter into the half lungs it is completely a single circuit and left receives blood from lungs from that it enter into the left ventricle and that left ventricle send blood to the different body parts it is another circulation okay and both bloods are never mixed at any time. Okay. It is completely different pathway. It is completely different pathway. So, it is double circulation. The double circulation also explained as like this. If it is the heart of mammal. Okay. The right ventricle send blood to the lungs. From the lungs, the blood oxygenated at the site of lungs and that oxygenated blood enter into the left atrium. From the left atrium, it enter into the left ventricle and that left ventricle send blood to the different body parts. From the diff at the site of different body parts, the site of tissues, the blood get carbon dioxide and deoxygenated and the deoxygenated blood enter into the right atrium it is double circulation it is short circulation it is long it is pulmonary circulation it is systemic circulation and this is the evolution of heart